Pak and she's Yanis Bentur. So let's start with introduction and background of the product. So Miss Ain, can you explain the introduction and background of Yanis Bentur? Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nurul Aina Jiha binti Cik Basir. So, I will start with introduction of Yamis Bento. Shown in the video is our business logo. In 16 June 2020, a partnership consists of Amira Nualia binti Amru Khairi, Sarah Najwa binti Hanisham, Farah Sofia binti Ismail, Nik Fariha binti Nik Khairul Zaman, Nurul Ain Najiha binti Cik Basir and Siti Maisara binti Muhammad Jumali. Started Yamis Bento at Lot 9990, Kompleks Perniagaan, Kampung Surah Gate, 23,000, Kuala Dungun, Terengganu. The business operating hours start from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. As we are customer friendly, so customer can reach us anytime by refer to the contact given here. Since then, Yamis Bento has focused on specializing in the Bento product where we call it Reheat Packet Bento. Without further ado, I am glory to introduce the design of our product. So here are the Yamis Bento product design. To ensure customer satisfaction and convenience, we offer the customer delivery service as we know some of our potential customer did not have access to a car. So this helped us to reach new customer outside the regular and also benefit for us where some people are still worried about dining out. Thank you Miss Ayn for the introduction. Next, we will move to Miss Sophia to explain about the problem statements of Yamis Bento. My name is Farah Sofia Benti Ismail. I will continue with the statement of problems. For the year 2020, pandemic coronavirus disease 2019 has affected the movement of customers. Due to the movement control order, it was difficult for the customers to look for healthy food. In conjunction, we came up with an idea to serve healthy food to the customers, which is Bento food. However, there are several issues that we found out during our research regarding bento pack food in the market. The first issue in serving the bento food is the bento pack that was sold in the market, usually in a cold packaging, as it cannot be reheated. People tend to choose to eat their foods in a hot meal. This is because hot foods make delicate meats as savory and tasteful. Even until now, there are still a majority of consumers who choose heavy normal meals rather than bento food. This happens since bento foods serve in cold packaging. Meanwhile, normal meals can be eaten hot served. By innovating the bento packing, it will improve the satisfying of customers' preferences. Next, another issue in providing the bento pack is that the other standard bento pack cannot be reused because bento pack is not safe for health and environment. This is because most of the bento packaging does not have a BPA free and need to be reheated separately from the pack as this is not practical for people to enjoy the meal. Therefore, the bento pack needs to be upgraded as it will be useful for the consumers to reuse it again. Then, another issue that arises from the market is the self-heating food packaging sold in the market is not convenient to be used on the spot. Self-heating food packaging is active packaging with the ability to heat food contents without external heat sources or power. Unfortunately, the self-heating food packaging is not like the common instant food that can be enjoyed right after we open the food. It needs a time requirement as we need to reheat the food first with a heating pad for having it in a hot serve. The last issue in producing bento food is that the bento in the market is more expensive. As we know, bento food is originally from Japan and people nowadays love to follow the trend. For example, trying out other country foods such as bento food. In addition, most of the seller tends to mark up the price of Japanese food as it is uncommon and rarely found in Malaysia. Other than that, the ingredients used in making bento foods are usually costly as some of the ingredients originally came from Japan. Hi, my name is Siti Mansara Benti Muhammad Jumali. Next, I will explain regarding mission, vision, and objectives of Yamis Bento. 
The main vision of Yami's Bento business is to be one of the world's leading producer of self reheat packed bento meals which can provide everyone satisfaction in having food. Yami's Bento mission is to share a variety of food by enabling consumers to enjoy a warm and healthy meal no matter the circumstances. The first objective of the company is to serve quality and affordable foods. The company offers a variety of healthy food to the customer at a reasonable price. The second objective is to provide delivery service from home to home on time at any time. Yami Spento has designed the menu and packaged the meals suitable for delivery service. The third objective is the company also prioritizes innovation by increasing experimentation, risk-taking and creativity in the products. Yami Spento has tested the result of the innovation. True innovation requires true testing in pursuit of success. And the final objective is to be the world's leading producer of new feature bento mills. The company target to expand their business by opening 10 new branches in the next three years. Thank you, Miss Maisara. Now we will move to listen to Miss Faiha about novelty and benefit users of Yami's bento. Hi, my name is Nip Farha Bentinik Karuzaman. So now let's remove to the novelty part. Okay, Yam's Bentu is produced to ensure that customers can enjoy the warm and fresh meals. Moreover, with the new design and features of Bentu Pikeji, it will be convenient for customers to use the container as the container can be reused and easy to bring anywhere. Okay, next I will explain the benefit to users of our Yams Bento. Okay, firstly, people can enjoy warm food. Most of us always prefer to eat warmly cooked food rather than the cold ones. Therefore, with our helpful designs of Bento packaging, which include pets specifically for reheating purposes, users will be able to enjoy their meals happily. Moreover, scientifically, warm food also will be able to help in the digestive system, so it is also contribute to a healthy eating lifestyle. Okay, second, it is easy care and easy wash. Okay, bento, bento lunch bought out, so easy to wipe out. Most can go in the top rack of the dishwasher also. With the no little nooks and crannies to clean, it is easy to keep them hygiene. Okay, the built-in compartments means you don't have to keep track of lots of little containers that are forever getting broken or lost. Okay, lastly, it is easy to use. Okay, when user close their bento boards, each compartment is sealed. Okay, user don't have to spend time wrapping each item, and all user have to do is place their favorite items into its own single serving compartment. Not only they not only do they save time but it is also one less piece of plastic wrap or foil that ends up in the landfills. Thank you Miss Fire have a great information. Now I want to ask Miss Sarah what are the benefits to society of Yamis Bento? Hi and assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Sarah Najwa Mejahanisha. I will continue to explain about the benefits to society of Yamis Bento. First benefit is environmentally friendly. The, co the compartments within the bento lunch box allow different foods to be placed in without touching each other. This removes uh, the need of plastic wrap or bag to separate food. It will save the envir environment at a time by reducing the amount of plastic waste going into our landfills. Second benefit uh, to society is dietary control. The lunch box uh, compartments hold single serving of each food item. Bento style lunchbox encourage a balanced, well portioned diet. It is so easy to limit the amount of food people can pack into the bento box. It is a great way to help people stick to a diet health and healthy eating style. Okay, last benefit is Yami's bento box meal are economical friendly. The bento pack of food will make meals convenient and fun. People will eat healthier, people will find it easier to control how much they eat and people will able to save money by not eating at a restaurant every day. Since our package bento box can be reused all over again, people would find it worthy to invest in buying reheated package bento meals. We are coming to the end of presentation. Last but not least, we will listen to Miss Amira about the commercialization potential of Yamis Bento. 
Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Amira Nur Alia binti Amlu Khairi. So, I will be explaining about commercialization potential of Yami Spento. This product will provide convenience to customers in carrying out their day affairs as we have improvised the packaging of the bento food. The product is user-friendly. It can self-reheat in the container as it contains a heating pad. So, it allows the customers to enjoy the bento food whenever and wherever they like. To compete with competitors in this industry, Yami's Bento are designed using the latest technology advance advancement where, uh, the, where the material is environmentally friendly. So, it will not harm the ecosystem and will be safe to use repeatedly. The company ensures that the quality meals product will, with Bento packaging will be produced at, at an affordable price.